It is so bright. Listen, am I recording? Yes. I have a haul for y'all, but I'm not going to do it until we get home. I just came out of, I went to Atwood. Atwoods? Yeah, I went to Atwoods to get dog food. Then I went to Dollar Tree. And then I went to Target. And I wanted to go to Tea for the Soul just to look around their clothes, but they're closed on Sunday. Tea for the Soul is a local, a little local thing. And the girls in there are super sweet. And it's just it's like this really cool boutique that has really cool clothes and um, really cool jewelry. But they're closed. So, when we get home, I'm going to do a haul for y'all. It's going to include Skinny Pop Popcorn White Cheddar. I've never had it. I got one for Riley. This is her favorite popcorn of all time. And, um, I can't have very much of it, but I'm starving. So, I'm going to eat a little bit of white cheddar. We're going to drive home. Why don't, you, why don't you go a little bit faster, dude? You see him fly past me? How did we function before backup cameras? I still have a tendency to look both ways because the camera doesn't just cover everything, but I love a backup camera, don't you? Hmm. Did I tell you guys that I've changed my diet? I'm on day four. That's why I can't eat very much of this. I can just have like a few little bites. So I am focusing on high protein. So if you guys have any tips and tricks for me, let me know. This is not, it's two grams of protein, but I'm just snacking on it. So like for instance, if you focus on high protein, your carbs have a tendency and your calories have a tendency to be a little lower, but let me get one more bite of this because it's so good. I'm not die hard, but I do need to lose weight. I need to drop like 25 pounds and I'm not kidding. I'm 25 pounds heavier now than when I met Shane 11 years ago. <clears throat> and people think I look smaller than I am because I have real skinny legs. Oh man, my mirror. I went to the car wash and my mirror is stuck in. Oh well, we're going to have to wing it. Anyway, I have skinny legs, and so people think I'm, I weigh, they're like, oh, you don't weigh that much. I'm like, yeah, I weigh every bit of 154 pounds because I've got a belly and big boobs, and I'm five foot three and 154 pounds, and we can't be having that. That's a, that's a no. I mean, Shane doesn't care one way or another, you know. And I'm not, I don't, honestly, I'm not worried about what he thinks. I'm doing this for me. Um, and uh, since I have been trying to focus on protein, I have more energy just in the last four days. Because I'm not bogged down with all the bread and the biscuits and the macaroni and cheese and all the things that I love. You know, all that good stuff that you love. And all the little Debbies. Somebody asked if all the little Debbies were gone. I mean, God. why is everybody in such a hurry? And people are rude. I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to come back to that. People are rude anymore. They're just rude. And I have two examples I can tell you about in the last two weeks. Just selfish and rude, and I can't even stand it. Okay, let's go back. What am I talking about? I'm not bogged down in all the carbs and all the stuff that I love. 
um, but I feel better. I feel lighter on my sleep. I have more energy. I can think clearer. And so <clears throat> my boss Maggie is teaching me. She went into my fitness pal. She set all my weight for me. She set all my calories. She set my protein. And I cannot reach that, pro that protein goal. Like I'm eating all day long and I'm still learning. So, <clears throat> um, high protein, low fat is the goal. But anyway, I want to drop 20 pounds. I know it's, it's, it's big deal. I want to drop it because I know what I look like at 130, 135, and I'm happy with that. And I know I can do it because I've done it before. It's just harder now because I'm middle age. Um, so, let's talk about rude people for a second. So, a few weeks ago, <laughs> I was going into Ulta. And me and this girl were coming at the door kind of at the same time, right? Kind of coming at the same time. Well, I slowed down and let her go ahead of me. She's probably late 20s, early 30s. I just kind of let her go ahead of me. So I'll go behind her. So she goes in the door and I'm behind her. I'm probably three feet behind her. Because I let her go ahead. The door opens out, right? She flings the door open and just walks in. She knows I'm behind her. She saw me. She looked me in the eye. She knew I was coming up behind her. She knew I let her go ahead of me. And she just flung the door open and walked in. And that door just, just right in front of my face. I didn't even have time to catch it. And I'm like, I'm right here. Can you not just hold the door for a hot second? Rude, rude ass. Pardon my French. Rude. I would never do that to somebody. If I see you're three feet behind me, six feet behind me, I know you're coming behind me. I'm going to hold the door for you because I don't know. That's what my mama taught me. <sighs> Number two, today, go into the Dollar Tree. There's two associates. One of them's probably 75. The other one's probably 65. Age doesn't matter, but these two are old enough to know better. <clears throat> well, they're standing. I need a basket. I need a, a buggy, right? So, one is standing there. You know, they the buggy stacked together. So she's holding on to the buggy that I need. That's you know that you pull out. Um, and then another lady is standing here, and they're talking about so and so didn't show up at noon. They were supposed to be here, and why isn't she here? And you know, they're over there gossiping and talking about the whatnot, and that's fine. And I said. I don't mean to interrupt you guys, but can I have one of those baskets, please? And she goes, yeah. She moves over like one foot. I couldn't even get the basket out. So I am pulling the basket out. She And she wants me to maneuver. She wants me to, she doesn't want to move out of the way anymore. And I asked politely. And I'm a customer. She barely moves to where I can, I have to like almost pick this basket up and move it because she won't, she's not scooting over, please. She is not scooting over. Oh, please. And then when I'm pulling it out, the little seatbelt, you know, that you strap your kids in, <clears throat> it's hung up. Like, she just standing there looking at me. She did not offer to help me. She did not offer to move over even another centimeter. Just stood there watching me while I'm struggling to get this basket out, while it's hung up on another basket. And I don't need you to help me undo the seat belt and, and get it untangled from the other basket, but could you scoot over a little bit? Could you give me some room? Because I'm about to spend some money in here. <sighs> it, and that little car just now, he's like doing 45 in this little left turn left lane. I mean, heaven forbid somebody go ahead of you. Heaven forbid somebody goes before you. Heaven forbid. Rant over. And no, I'm not ranting because I'm hungry. I'm, I'm ranting because these people make me mad. And, you know, sometimes I just need to vent. Believe it or not. Oh, what's that? 
grandma's pantry. She puts food out there for people to come get. What? Okay. All right, I got a bunch of stuff to show y'all. I'll see you back at the house and we'll do a haul. Thanks for listening to me gripe. Okay, I made it in the front door. So good. Did you try it? Yeah. No wonder Riley wants it all the time. She likes original. I like the white cheddar. Okay. Here's Skinny Pop. I told Lover back here he can't help me unload because I'm doing a haul. Here's original Skinny Pop for her. Oh. doing that on purpose. He's doing it on purpose. I gotta get it that closed up. Now I need a clip for it. I don't have a clip that big. Are you done? Pretty much. Anyway, I think I've told you guys before, um, Oklahoma, he makes me crazy. I'm crazy because that's how he makes me. Oklahoma has a shirt of the month club. I don't know if your state does it, but Oklahoma does. Um, and you guys have seen me wear, can you go, wife? What, baby, damn. He does it on purpose, I'm telling you. Anyway, you guys have seen me wear Shirt of the Month clubs, and they always, if you see me in a shirt that has anything to do with Oklahoma, it's from the Shirt of the Month club. Well, you can open that when you get in front of your TV, boo-boo. This is the October one. Deep Roots, Oklahoma. I thought that was so cute. It's got a skeleton hand on it for, you know, Halloween. But I just love that. Isn't that cute? Love it. Love that. I'll have that. Anyway, it's um, $12.99 a month, and every month they send you a t-shirt. You don't get to pick the t-shirt. It's a local guy that makes them a, a local group of Oklahomans. They're out in Oklahoma City or more, somewhere around there. And they make them, and it's a subscription. It's a t-shirt subscription. So for $12.99 a month, I believe that's the price, You, they send you a t-shirt in the mail. Um, you can also go on there and you can, you can get, it doesn't matter if you're from Oklahoma or not, you can go subscribe, um, but they're all Oklahoma tees. But if you don't want to subscribe, you can still go to their website and order t-shirts. They have like $5 sales all the time. And, uh, anyway, their number is 405, so they're, I think they're out of Oklahoma City area. Okay, I gotta move this stuff. It's always neat to see what t-shirts come in. Okay. Target. We're going we're doing Target. Mm, we got light bulbs because we all need light bulbs. Cascade dishwasher thingies. Um, I got two bones, um, meat filled, peanut butter, whatever gunk bones for the puppies. They love these. I need to put this in the fridge, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. I got this Dan and Light and Bit um, Greek yogurt and strawberry cheesecake. Um, these have 12 grams of protein for one dill, and they're only 80 calories, and they're really, really good. Love these. So that's um, that's a good little breakfast when you're walking out the door. Okay. Um, then I got these Quest bars, s'mores. And these have 21 grams of protein. And I just want to go ahead and taste one. I know. I am working on second day hair. I haven't had a shower. I washed my face and brushed my teeth. That's what I did. 
threw on some clean clothes, and went shopping. Okay. Tyler Ramey loves these. I think he gets the chocolate chip cookie dough. This is the s'mores. So, let's see. Hard to open. Not bad. I'll save the rest out for breakfast. Not bad. I'll buy those again. They had two for five dollars and some change, Clorox, so I'll put one upstairs and one downstairs, toilet bowl cleaner. <clears throat> all free, all clear detergent, because I'm out of my Norwex um, up laundry detergent, so I had to get um, Target um, until mine comes, um, <laughs> until I do another Norwex order for that laundry detergent. I know, I'm rattling bags, sorry. Um, love this for after you, when you get out of the shower. You guys have seen me haul this. You've seen it in my empties, and it's less than $3, and it's the best thing to keep your shower clean, especially after you clean it. We do have a Norwex product for scrubbing the shower, and it's pretty good, but I like this better in a, in a pinch because it cleans fast. And then after you take a shower, you spray your shower down with this. It's incredible. It just keeps it clean for the longest. Um, hand sanitizer for my desk at work meatballs Th these are turkey turkey meatballs so this is what these are what's for dinner so I'm about to throw these in um, can you make some fish for dinner yeah. or tell me how to make it you can tell me how to make it Shane makes it the best salmon on the planet the best and I don't know how to make it how he makes it. So, I'm going to be having fish and veggies for dinner. Because that's what I do now. Somebody asked if all the little Debbies are gone. Way gone. But I gave a whole box and some to the kids. So, we didn't need them all. But the majority of them. But yes, they're gone. They're gone. Okay, let's move on to Dollar Tree. Oh, I got these fun little cups right here. Um, I thought they'd be good for um, portion control or when I get yogurt in the big tub and put granola in it or a little bit of cereal or just a little munchy. I thought we're going to try those. Shane likes to eat cereal and stuff out of coffee mugs and I thought, oh, well, he can eat out of these too. Um, I got some... There's some fun stuff in here. I got some paper plates, sturdy, sturdy ones. Okay, I'll put my glasses back on. I got these two little candles. Um, you guys have seen me haul these in yellow. They're actually in my kitchen window, but they, when I picked up the yellow ones, they didn't have this pretty color. <laughs> and I just love this color. Um, and these smell like lavender lilac. Anyway, I got those. Um, I got a little sewing kit just to keep in the junk drawer. Cause you know, if you lose a button or I have a pair of my favorite, favorite yoga pants has a little tiny tear in them. So I need to, in the seam. And so I need to sew, tack, sew that up real quick. So I grabbed that. This was an impulse buy at the counter. When I saw it, I said, oh, I need that. And I think I have one somewhere but they're a dollar, so there's another one. These are handy to have. And like last night, Riley was needing safety pins. I didn't have any. There's a few safety pins in here. Found these hair clips right here. So these are cute. So it's like a bobby pin, right? Just pull it apart. Pull it apart. And slide it in. 
cute little funsy to keep your hair out of your face, right? Cute as a button. They hold really well, and my hair's thin. They're probably more ideal for thin hair, not thicker hair. Unless you're just trying to get a little piece out of your hair while you're running around the house. These are neat. Um, and since my hair is getting longer, it's long enough now where I can put it in a little ponytail. And so I found these elastic. They're real soft. Super soft. Um, and they don't pull your hair. So grab those. Um, I found a book. And I'm, I'm reading so many books right now. I need to finish a book before I start another one, but I'm really bad at that. Anywho, this is The Hand That Feeds You. It's a novel, and it is a suspense thriller, and it was, um, Oprah Magazine called it riveting. So, I'm gonna get into that. Lover, I bought two bottles of aspirin. Yep, one for upstairs and one for down. Um, I got some AAA batteries, because my scale downstairs says, battery low. I got some LA Colors. Do you guys remember the roll-on lip gloss? I got grape flavored. I don't know if it's grape flavored, but it's grape scented. I used to love these when I was a kid. Anyway, I saw them there and I was like, ooh, who doesn't need some clear roll-on lip gloss? A little roller ball. <laughs> oh yeah, it smells like grape. Here it goes. It's kind of like a, oh, it's real light. Oh yeah. It's more like lip oil. Ooh, I love it. It's very moisturizing. It feels good. The little metal ball, it's cooling. Oh, get one of those. They had grape, strawberry, and mint. It's going in my purse. Love that. It's very light, and it doesn't taste like anything. Okay, and the last but not least, you know, they're Dollar Tree's getting their Christmas stuff out, and so I found these little wooden, they're just little wooden stand-up things, right? And now I haven't decorated for fall yet, but y'all know I go nuts on Christmas, so it's fine. Um, and then there's another one. They're almost like little jars, and it says Season of Joy, and it's navy blue and a poinsettia. So these are super cute. They're just blocks of wood, and then... They had a Merry Christmas barn. <laughs> how sweet is that? I love a baby blue or a turquoise with a red. I love how those go together. Anyway, so these are the fun Christmas things that I got. And I think that's it. Let me show you one more high protein thing. This right here, if you're looking for a chocolate milk, high protein, this is um, creamy chocolate silk, ultra 20 grams of protein for one cup. Um, so when you drink it, it doesn't have a whole lot of flavor, but the aftertaste is like a, a creamy chocolate milk. So it's about gone. It's good. I'll buy it again. Okay, that is it. Thanks for listening to my rant. I'm gonna go find some food and feed my puppies and clean my kitchen because, well, once again, it's a mess. Okay, love you guys. The Lord loves you more and enjoy the rest of your weekend. There's only a few hours of it left.